Welcome back to Guided PPC. I'm Santos, your Google Ads expert. And I'm here with another video today, which is about Google Ads basics. In particular, I'm going to talk about this one concept that a lot of Google Ads specialists and agencies are confused about, likely because this is what I found the hard way, is health and personalized advertising. If you're running ads for any brand, any business that has anything to do with health and fitness or medicines at worst, your ads are likely going to be limited, policy limited for health and personalized advertising. But what is it? How do you go about it? And how do you basically manage ads with or without this policy violation? It's not a violation. It's basically an alert in, in some way. It's also a violation because, uh, you know, there are things that can go wrong. There are things that you can unknowingly do wrong, which will uh, get attract this policy violation on your ads. So this business that we are talking about today is uh, is a pregnancy fitness, uh, you know, online programs from UK. Naturally, as you can imagine, uh, they are going to they are <laughs> most likely prone to, uh, you know, getting this health and personalized advertising, uh, you know issue but one interesting thing you should notice is that only the performance max campaign has this uh, policy violation which is health and personalized advertising and birth control you know which is <laughs> kind of a bit of a struggle with google because it's not about birth control but they are automated systems uh, and some you know people who are monitoring and making compliance of these policies have got this wrong we keep requesting and this keeps uh, getting partially su successful not fully successful anyways so back to the topic health and personalized advertising so here is what happened on our daily call today i uh, we were discussing the youtube ads uh, plan for this, this this account and i asked the specialist on the account that uh, when I, we have got videos from the client now we have to go launch the campaigns uh, what are the audiences you're going to uh, test at the start now we have a uh, audience testing sop that i have shared in the past and i will share this with uh, you uh, also uh, let me know in the comments if you want the audience testing sop uh, checklist and i will share that with you and you can make use of that but that's later so the specialist says yes i have access to that and i said okay so what are the audiences you're going to try first so the reason why I asked this question is because in our SOP, we have the audiences listed in the priority of what to test first and what to test later as we scale the account. Obviously, once you are, you know, uh, going live on the ads for the first time, you would want to target the audiences which are super, super narrow, direct, uh, relevant, and then open up the campaigns to broader audiences. So he, he goes on to say that um, I'm going to start with testing the customer list first and I said why he says um, that's because you know with customer list we can get and I don't want to demean my team here all I'm saying is that this is a real incident that happened and it in a way it surprised me and that's when I realized that not just my team people outside of my team might also be confused at bit confused about this concept so I asked him I asked him why would you uh, start with customer list he says, because this is the most targeted uh, in our SOP, uh, audience targeting SOP. So I said, do you know that a lot of our ads are suspended or limited, policy limited for health and personalized advertising? He says, yes, I know that. Then I asked him, then why are you still trying to try the customer list? I was at this, until this point, I was in assumption that he understands health and personalized advertising to the, to the, to the letter and spirit. Turns out that wasn't the case and therefore this discussion went on. Then uh, somebody else from my team, uh, you know, barges in and says that, guys, um, even though the ads are, you know, policy limited, but all of the ads are approved and our campaigns are running. And at that point, I had this counter question to him. Then why do you think our search campaigns do not have this health and personalized advertising alert? And he doesn't have an answer so i go on and i say that guys let's get to the basics and understand 
the policy first. So who all who, who all have read this policy? And some folks said that they have read the policy, they have seen this a lot on the ads before, but they didn't know how to go about it. And at that point, I was a bit disappointed, <laughs> thinking that, um, you know, because internally at Guided PPC, we have this concept, this, this uh, culture of even if you are 99% sure and 1% unsure, you ask the team and we have this Google Ads Master channel where we discuss these roadblocks. So this wasn't brought up. Uh, and I think at some level, uh, you know, we all fall into this uh, trap of pretending to know things, uh, assuming this is how it works versus getting to the bottom of it. So, you know, I'm trying to teach my team this, uh, you know, these, these concepts at the very basic level, but why should, it, should this be limited to my team? You all are following me on YouTube, on LinkedIn. You should also benefit from this going to the basics uh, lessons. All right. So I asked him who all have read the policy. And like I just said, that they all agreed that they have read it. So I said, okay, let's go and read this together again. So we hop into this campaign and we open the health and personalized advertising article. It's for some reason not open. Yeah, it's opening. So uh, when you open this, it says, what is health and personalized advertising triggered for? So you, you see all this personal health and stuff. But it doesn't tell you what is the logic behind triggering ads for health and personalized advertising policy. And that's when I said, okay, we need to Google this uh, concept and figure out why this is the case. Now, um, I don't know if my screen would be visible for that, but let me try. Uh, I mean, so we, we may not want to Google it. Uh, accidentally, I when I was started uh, when I started recording this loom, I only made this tab visible. So if I go on another tab and search, you would not see that. So I'll explain the difference here. So we go on to another tab, Google the health and personalization personalization policy, and the first thing it says that personalized ads uh, are, you know fall into these categories and therefore if anything is health related it's going to be uh, limited the ads are going to be limited by health and personal advertising so this is when uh, it triggered occurred to me that so guys tell me what is personalized advertising and this is the this is the crux of it this is the getting to the bottom of it what is personalized advertising so some said you know um, we can uh, personalized advertising is when you are when you know the behavior of it, demographics of it, I said that is not personalized advertising. By definition, personalized advertising, and I clarified the definition of personalized advertising is that when you are able to target, and this is there in the definition, you can Google it, health and personalized advertising, read the first two, three lines, you will understand. When you, when you are targeting people based on their behavior, you are personalizing ads to them. And what is that? buzzword what is that uh, jargon for retargeting people based on their behavior remarketing retargeting right how would you know the behavior the behavior you get to know only when they have visited your website signed up for a newsletter you know gone on to add to cart gone on to contact page gone on to watch your videos that's when you become a customer that's when you know the behavior and when you serve them ads based on their behavior that becomes personalized advertising so any form of remarketing any form of remarketing and remarketing is not demographics remarketing is not in market affinity audiences remarketing is remarketing lists people been to your website watched your video subscribe to your newsletter uh, you know become a customer repeat customer converters non-converters all of those are remarketing audiences and any form of remarketing that you do is essentially personalized advertising and anything that you uh, do to target people based on their behavior uh, with a product or service offering that is health related your ads are going to get the health and personalized advertising flag it will be limited though it will serve it will not disapprove the ads the ads will serve but the ads will be limited 
that is the essence of health and personalized advertising. So back to my uh, Q&A with, with my specialist. So I said, you know the fact that a lot of our ads are flagged for health and personalized advertising. And you're going to try video ads now. And the first thing you want to start with is customer list. What do you think is going to happen to the video ads? Bingo. Then he says, yes, they're going to be flagged for personalized, health and personalized advertising again. So I said, why do you want to start by getting your ads flagged for health and personalized advertising? Why don't you start with something else? So then I asked him, then if that is ruled out, then what is that you're going to target? in the YouTube uh, conversion campaign audience. And then he says, I'm going to conver uh, target converted search terms. I'm going to target inbound keywords, high intent inbound keywords. I'm going to target the ad, ad to cart URLs of competitors' website and so on and so forth. All of that is part of our audience uh, targeting SOP, by the way, that you can request by posting a comment on this video or on this post if you're uh, watching this on LinkedIn. So, that's the essence of it, folks. Uh, health and personalized advertising is when you do remarketing. If you didn't know, this is the big reveal. If you knew this, double thumbs up to you. You already got your base covered of these basics. And next time, my humble request is that if you come across any sort of this kind of a crossroad, ask yourself, are you 100% sure about how you are comprehending this? Or is there even a tiny bit of, uh, you know, ambiguity in your think thought process. If it is, cross-check it, understand it, and then take actions. Because unless you understand, you will be making the kind of mistake my specialist was going to make, which is starting the video ads campaign with remarketing, uh, sorry, customer list, and getting all of our videos flagged for health and personalized advertising, <laughs> right? So hope this is helpful. Um, if you are a wannabe a specialist, you want to level up on Google Ads, you can go to academy.guidedppc.com and you know go through our courses. This is what we discussed in the batch one, batch two, and then bunch of coaching call recordings. I think there are 80 coaching call recordings where we have gone through live case studies of real Google Ads accounts and we have discussed the, this kind of strategy. If you are a brand, if you are a business looking for help with Google Ads, or if you have an agency which is not doing well for your business, your you know, uh, revenue <laughs> is, is on a flat line for months, reach out to us. We can help. Just like we are helping this client of ours. You know, as you can see the results here, you know, conversions are up, cost is down. The blue line is cost. It's cost per conversion is down. Red line is conversions. It's up. This is the kind of result we deliver. And we are very proud of this. So that's 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 about it for today. Today's video. I'll see you on the next one. If you like this video, I have to request you that give me a thumbs up on YouTube so that it helps other people discover this video. Uh, if you want that audience SOP uh, checklist, let me know in the comments. I will send it to you. Cheers.